John Gallagher Sr. I'm 61 years young. It's exciting, it's adventurous, it's a hell of an adrenaline rush. I guess I can't play golf with a damn. <laughs> Since I've raced for a while, it's like I have another family out there somewhere and I really look forward to the change of pace and going out and seeing all the people that I've come to be friends with over the last two years. I race for Polaris and I race the Polaris Outlaw. Both the IRS and the new S are straight bottled units. I'm still trying to decide which one I like the best. I have two machines. They both work well and they both have features that are good under different conditions. So my new dilemma is which bike do I ride for the track that I'm now sitting on. My race career started, I would say, you know, 35 years ago I've been racing. I tried motocross and it really wasn't my thing. Cross country and woods racing really fit my abilities and my program and I started hair scrambling and the next thing I knew I was going to bigger races. I realized that there were a lot of races and things happening out of the eastern suburb of Cleveland, Ohio. So uh, that's how it all started, I guess. And the next thing I know, Weiss Co. 100 Mile Series started. That turned into GNCC Cross Country Racing. I've been at and raced at every track that they've had to offer. I think I'm about the only guy that can say that. When somebody new um, you know, gets to know me or comes into my life and they find out that I race, the first comments are, aren't you afraid you're going to get hurt? You know, isn't it dangerous? And all that kind of nonsense, which I almost take offense to because it's okay if you're out there getting hurt playing hockey, basketball, or football. That's cool and that's okay. But Jesus, don't get hurt on a motorcycle or a four-wheeler because then you're stupid, you know? But I did a real stupid thing early on in my career when I was still on motorcycles before I started racing four-wheelers. I had a head-on with another motorcycle and I had a double compound injury and I broke my hand off the end of my arm and it's ugly <laughs> but it still works I got smart in a hurry let's put it that way okay <laughs> uh, but yes that was a major injury it put me down for over a year I really thought that was it for age 61 uh, I'm in fair condition I would have to say that my race career is responsible for that. My son's also involved in the sport and he's John Gallagher. When I broke my arm, he was a little baby and I was holding him in one arm and I was casted and pinned in this arm. And obviously, moms, being the protective creatures that they are, made a blanket statement, my son left race. But for his first birthday, we got him a ATC T70. He was never supposed to uh, race that, but one thing led to another and he ended up racing four wheelers. So. Did he look up to me? Um, according to a little article that he wrote, he did, but I never realized that too much. You know, you know Tracy Checo, who's a great rider and a really good person, I've come to travel with her a little bit to Southern races with my son. We were running together and on the last lap, um, there was a creek jump and uh, damned if I could pass her. I figured, what the hell? So I took the creek jump and uh, came out in front, in front of her and held that to the end and I took overall. So that's my only morning overall. And uh, that was pretty exciting. So I would have to say in the last five, six, eight years that that one stands out as my most memorable race. For years I did have goals. Uh, you know, my goals were to win championships, to win races, to do as best I could. But over the last couple of years, I realized how lucky I was to still be racing. Uh, by the way, GNCC, if you want to start a plus 60 class, I, I'm not going to uh, have a problem with that. Even last year, in a magazine interview, said, you know, I want to win, I want a championship, I want a podium. But then, after having one of the toughest years I've had so far, I could have easily have lost the championship, but somebody in the class made a mistake. All classes are competitive. The popularity of GNCC racing is, is growing immensely. You know, obviously being a class champion, you have a target on your back, and I've been wondering for years now, you know, who's it's going to be that's going to take me out? Well, now I guess we have sort of an idea because we have two GNCCs under our belt, and somebody's turned 50 and stepped up. 
But all I have to say to that is two races out of 13, it's not over yet. My goals for this year are to go out there and get it hell. Race as hard as I can race, have fun. Don't get me wrong, I'd like to win another one. I'm not going to say I wouldn't. But I'm no longer going to be hurt, devastated, or disappointed if I don't win because I'm old enough and I'm realistic enough to know that it's not if, it's when. Why do I like HMF pipes? And that's real simple, because they work. I've seen the horsepower and the performance gain. They look good, they work, they help the performance, and I guess that's all I can ask of a pipe.